Hello? Hi, Jack. It's Fan Hum. Oh! It's makeup time! I was inspired to create this fun look from Adventure Time. <laughs> If you're a huge fan of Blumpy Space Princess, or you Marcus love abusing that house. purple eyeshadow like, color, then land, keep watching. Way less land, they're like, your house. Everyone needs to know that when I work these lumps, no man is immune to their influence. I was all, what the lump? So I'm crashing this party. After one, gotcha. LSP is like, known for having like, the smoothest skin, duh. And when I say smooth, I really mean lumpy. So, just use any sheer BB or CC cream all over to cover any imperfections. This will help create a flawless base. I prefer using my clean fingers whenever I'm applying BB or CC cream, just because it's faster to apply it on this way. For this step, take a neutralizing concealer and warm it up between your ring fingers and gently pat under your eyes. Because this is such an intense purple eye look, your eyes will actually look more tired and borderline bruised looking. So, cover up the dark circles because we know that LSP likes to look fresh. Let's move on to the brows. Take a brow liner that matches your hair color and fill in any sparse or uneven spots using short strokes. I'm just going to create a natural brow arch that suits my face. And play around with different brow looks because you never know which shape will suit you best. When choosing your LSP palette, look for colors like a deep purple, lavender, dark gray, and a bright pink blush. Here I'm making my own LSP palette using the colors from Party Life. This palette shall be called Lumpin' Awesome. Start with a medium purple shade and apply it along the outer corner of the lids. Start blending it towards the inner corner of the eyes in a small patting motion. As you work your way towards the inner corner of the eye, the color will begin to become more sheer. To further emphasize this gradient effect, take a deeper purple and apply this color along the crease area for definition. Make patting motions like this instead of brushing it on. Using the same deep purple color, line the outer lower lash line. You don't want any harsh lines, so be sure to soften the edges. It's gotta be more lumpy and less angular. Tight line the bottom waterline with a gold waterproof pencil. This will brighten the eye and will help bring out your eye color. So glide the pencil back and forth until you're happy with the intensity. Using your angled eyeliner brush, line your eyes with a dark blue if you have a lighter complexion or black shadow if you have a deeper complexion. The liner should wing out softly along the edge of the eyes. Feather the line to create a hazy finish. Finish off the eyes by curling the lashes and applying generous coats of mascara on both top and bottom lashes. I don't know about you, but we need to fatten these lashes up. The lumpier, the better. First you should check out my house. It's like, kind of lame, but way less lame than like, your house. And if you're gonna have purple hair, take a medium purple shadow and tint your brows purple. He's so hot. <gasps> it's time to create your princess blush. A pretty pink blush like this will instantly brighten and bring a more romantic tone to your face. Mm, mm, mm. LSP is obsessed with big swollen lips. Whatever lip shape you have will do just fine. Use a creamy fuchsia or hot pink lipstick to create your lumpy lips. If only edible lipstick existed. Awesome. Totally nailed the interview. And we can't finish off your lumpy space princess look without the star. I printed out her star on a hard stock paper and just stuck it on my head. Oh my god! Oh my glob! Blank my balls, my eyeballs, my brains. Let's not forget your makeup, your star, and your LSP minions. We all know how fashionable she is and may not be able to afford her designer labels, but purple ruffle mini skirt can do the trick. Paired with this fresh to death shirt, side note, I look fresh to death with my new dress and purse, or a purple tank top will do just fine. Um, sick. Mm. Oh, glob. LSP, you don't need a mirror to know you look good. 
You're beautiful on the inside. Like, your brain and stuff. Thanks for saying that stuff. And for saving me from those mirror use. That was pretty nice. Good luck, I'm gonna keys. totally fake die of a fake heart attack. Gotcha. Ah! Don't forget to check out my makeup line at mcosmetics.com. My blog, michellefawn.com. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you there. Bye.